Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah. Now Christopher Killing Columbus, he knew about Ezra's, so he took an interpreter. Now let me show what is uh, said in Ezra's to make him or make him want to go find an interpreter and what kind of interpreter he need he know he needed to find because this man just didn't say oh I'm gonna go to this unknown land you see oh I'm gonna sail this direction and I might run into some people this direction why would you even take an interpreter unless you know that you you gonna run into some people that you don't know what language they you can't speak their language if he just trying to find a different route to asia why is he taking the interpreter with him it's no purpose to take an interpreter unless your interpreter is interpreting uh the asian language but this person wasn't interpreting the angle ang the asian language he that's not what the um interpreter was for now when you go to um second Ezra verse 40 it say those are the 10 tribes which were carried away prisoner out of their own land into the in the time of Hosea the king whom Shalbanezar the king of Assyria led away captive and he carried them over the waters and so came they into another land. 41, but they took the counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go to a far, uh, go forth into a further country where ne never mankind dwelt. You see, that's the, the world that they didn't even know uh, that was over him. They said that the thing, the ocean was... Uh, was not ending or you would drop off if you went that way but um here elders was saying no these people went that direction where nobody dwelt there to get away from the other uh, nations they want to be separate from the other nation 42 is say that they might there keep their statues which they never kept in their own land and they ent entered into Euphrates by the narrow passage of the river, 44, that the Most High then showed signs for them, and he held the flood till they were passed over. And here go the key part, it's saying 45, for through that country there was a great way to go, namely, namely of a year and a half. And the same reason is called asterisk. Now, this year and a half worth way to go he got that from Ezra's and see these uh, so called Amalekites who's running Hollywood they know the truth about the situation you see they got all the records they got all the uh, writings and all of the stories and the artifacts and everything they got it you see, so they know what's going on, and they went in this in the eighteen hundreds. They went around and and collected all of these things and started to put them in museums and put them in stash them away in special places where only certain people can see them. And so, same thing with this Christopher Killing Columbus. He knew that these people over here was Hebrew they was Jews so he had to go find a Hebrew interpreter now let's see this Hebrew interpreter that he went to go find now here it says Louis D. Torres died in 1943 was Christopher Columbus interpreter on his second voyage to the Americas or Cuba after arriving at Cuba, which he 
supposed to be the Asian coast. See, that's the lie that they tell. Columbus sent the tour the D Torres and the sailor Rodrigo the Jerez on an expedition inland on November the second, fourteen ninety two. Now look at the devil. It says here uh he's talking about how the 39 men was left on the island and they pretty much tried to steal the men and women and uh, get rid of the men and take the women but see they address the situation they say the story of Torres arriving a native tribe addressing a native tribe in Hebrew after Columbus first landfall on San Salvador is a product of novelist imagination. You see, the devil got to address the situation. Just by him addressing it, lets you know that Torres was he speaking Hebrew. It lets you know that Torres was speaking Hebrew. You know, he wasn't speaking, he wasn't an Asian man. He was speaking Hebrew and he had a conversation with these people. Now, uh, you say, D. Torres' life has been the subject of various legends, the most widespread one which can be found in the Encyclopedia Judaica and similar references book is that D. Torres was a Jewish Converso or convert escaping the banishment of Jews from Spain, and that he became in his latter days a wealthy honored landowner in the West Indies. Now you see, you got multiple stories, even in the Jewish encyclopedia. That means these individuals knew that this man could speak Hebrew, and the Hebrews. And the, and the Jews was being expelled around about the 1400s. They was being expelled and told that you got to worship the white Jesus and not the black Jesus. You got to stop having the black Jesus up anywhere and y'all got to accept the white Jesus or the Edomite Jesus. Because look at here, it say the Indians remember that one of the sellers had spoken offensively and disparagingly about the Catholic faith, trying to dissuade the dissuade anybody from adopting it. According to God, this man may well has been the D. Torres. So now, not only was Torres speaking Hebrew, he was telling them, "Don't believe that crap." They saying about our uh, our peoples that God rejected our peoples and chose they behind, and and they really is God on earth, and 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 and, and uh, Yahweh was an Edomite and he wasn't one of us. See, he was all off the rip, letting them know, don't tell, don't believe none of these dragons and sand. But you see how the devil try to just just debunk. The situation on his stupid Wikipedia, but common sense to tell you if Christopher Killing Columbus had an interpreter going to an unknown land with an unknown people, that is not reasonable. He had to know this land and he had to know these people and how he knew it, how he knew it was through the fact that he had to listen two minutes to Ezra's. Now let's get that real quick. Let's get it real quick. The distance is unknown. It's said to be infinite. Superstition. I believe the Indies are no more than 750 leagues west of the Canary Islands. Can you be so certain? The calculations of uh, Toscanelli, Maradotti, Ezra's. Ezra's is a Jew. So what's worse? 
Two minutes, and already you're a dead man. For telling the truth? Yes. They are burning people for less. The men you're about to confront have no idea. So, Lachia. So it's easy to see that this man took an interpreter and the, the so-called Jewish peoples that run Hollywood, they know the truth. Listen to them when they put it in their movies. They know that Ezra's had the whole key and he understood this in 1492 after he read Ezra's and he knew that it was a bunch of Jews or Hebrews or Israelites that went did that direction and they weren't planning on coming back. They went that direction to live. So they probably over there, they speak in their language and they got many um, other peoples with them. And not only that, the um, what you call it, the Byzantine Empire and some of those individuals was traveling over across the water and was getting re giving reports about what they seen. They had met a group of people, or it, a group of people in their eyes, that was over him. So it wasn't a, a total um, nobody know that some people was over there. No, people knew. People had came over here in the eighteen and eight hundred. B, uh, A.D. 800 A.D. It was a guy, he came over here, then he wrote a book when he went back over there. So these individuals, man, they trying to lie and say that this is a fable and some kind of mystery. It's not hard to see. The thing clearly said, Christopher Columbus had an interpreter and his name was Louis D. Torres. All praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. By Shemri Cockett Dosh, double honest to the elders pushing the truth. Peace of these leg worldwide fighting for and contending for the faith. Uh, the kingdom is at hand or in the hand of the Israelites. And uh, Shalom.